looking at uh, a huge storm here that has the potential to grow even more. Yeah, the the storm is at least 45,000 feet tall. Uh, so this is a very, very large uh, thunderstorm and it seems to be to be growing uh, and it's getting more and more of an appendage now uh, with each passing a few minutes here on, on the radar scan. Mike, can you give us an idea of how you're deploying around this storm and how far and wide you are uh, you're deploying the stick nets and the mobile dopplers? Yeah, absolutely. You know, what they'll try to do on this, especially with the with the radars here, Nick, is they want to get on the east side and the south side. So what they're trying to do is get to the left on your screen here. That'll be the south side. So they the radars in particular want to get south. I don't see a lot of precipitation with this either, especially in the area that we're concentrating on here. So that's a good setup uh, for especially the W band and the KA band radars because the, what they're trying to measure are velocities. So any precipitation really throws off their radars. Now the stick nets and the probes, what they're like to do is just try to set up anticipating the forward movement of the storm and deploy all their weather instrumentation and let the storm come to them. And what the radars don't want to do is actually let the storm come to them. They actually want to be by it and let it just kind of pass past them, so to speak. So they don't actually want to be in the path as do the mesonets and the stick nets and the probes. So what we're noticing right now as I visually watch this is it is kind of moving a little bit more off to our left or to the south. So we may actually have to head down this road more south. It's a paved road, which is a good thing. But what you see here is wide open plain. This is actually ideal for what Vortex 2 wants to do. Unpopulated area. It's very flat, perfect visuals, and right now a slow moving 15 mile per hour supercell. So Nick, this is an absolutely perfect storm for this team to sample right now. All right, thank you very much. Mike Bettis in Goshen County, Wyoming. A tornado warning has been issued for the area. We'll be right back. Lowe's has a huge selection of brand name appliances. Huge. KitchenAid, Maytag, Electrolux, Whirlpool, Frigidaire, Samsung, Bosch, GE. What was that fourth one? Whirlpool. Sixth one? Samsung. Not bad. Come to Lowe's first for appliances. Time to take care of that unwanted hair? What are your options? You can rip it out, pluck it, melt it away with harsh chemicals, pay for costly laser treatments, or that old standby shaving. Ouch! Well, the days of old-fashioned hair removal are gone for good. Now that hair will go away with Smooth Away, the fastest-selling, most popular women's product in Europe. You'll smooth away unwanted hair in moments and exfoliate at the same time. I don't have to shave. I don't have to shave ever. <laughs> it's gone. That's pretty cool. So smooth. And it works so easy. Each Smooth Away pad is covered with super fine crystals that buff away unwanted hair, leaving your skin so soft and incredibly smooth. Use the full size Smooth Away pad for your legs, arms, underarms, and the small one for smaller areas like the upper lip and chin. Smooth Away works wonders on sensitive areas like the bikini line and will never leave those unsightly razor bumps. Best of all, Smooth Away works in just seconds and is 100% painful free and because smooth away exfoliates as you use it your skin will feel incredibly smooth and soft just begging to be touched oh and smooth away works great for guys too now anyone can enjoy perfectly smooth skin with smooth away to order call our toll-free number and we'll rush you the complete smooth away system the large smooth away for legs and arms the mini smooth away for lips chin and sensitive areas plus four large and four small replacement pads so you always look smooth this package sells in Europe for $40 or more, but buying direct, it's yours for $14.99. But wait, call right now and we'll double the entire offer and give you a second Smooth Away set absolutely free. Just pay shipping and handling. That's right, two Smooth Away sets and $80 value for only $14.99. So call now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-517-0903. That's 1-800-517-0903. Don't delay. Call. At Valley Rental, we do more than just rent. At Valley Rental, you can buy steel power tools and accessories. At Valley Rental, you can buy rugged Carhartt workwear. At Valley Rental, you can buy power equipment from Toro. When it comes to Carhartt, Toro, and steel, the best place to rent is also the best place to buy. Valley Rental, now part of the Cat Rental Alliance on Route 100 in downtown Waitsfield and on Main Street in Waterbury. You see the chores and ask, how can I do this? At Kubota, we see the utility vehicle and say, this is how you do it. With a smooth running diesel engine, a durable hydrostatic transmission, power steering, and four-wheel drive, you'll never look at a utility vehicle the same way again. 
the Kubota RTV 900 utility vehicle. You got to see this for yourself. For just $19.99. Log on to weather.com slash Vortex2 and follow Mike Bettis on the road. Chat with him on Facebook and get updates from Twitter. Vortex2 on the web and on the air. Monday night, may the best dancer lose. Dance your ass off. Oxygen's new weight loss dance competition. I've tried losing weight so many times before, and it's not worked. I'm ready to get fit and fine. I might just get a boyfriend. Dance your ass off. Premieres Monday, June 29th at 10, 9 central, only on Oxygen. Live out loud. Hurricane season 2009, and the Weather Channel is the hurricane authority. Now, your local on the aids. Here's our local Doppler radar. For tonight, clear to partly cloudy, low 47, winds south-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And on Saturday, sunshine, high 73, winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The week ahead. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis with Vortex 2. We are right now in southeastern Wyoming, in Goshen County, Wyoming, where a tornado warning has been issued. If you look behind me here, what you can see is a large rotating supercell thunderstorm with a lowering wall cloud. There are some very interesting features within this particular section of the storm. Want to bring in our tornado expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, for some instant analysis. Dr. Forbes, one thing that we're noticing, especially to the left of the lowering section of this cloud, Cloud is what looks to be a little bit of an updraft and what looks to be some rotation as well. Can you see from these pictures where exactly a tornado or funnel could develop? Well, it's, it's as you say, uh, can we put the, his picture in, in my Telestrator and I'll do a little drawing uh, on it. Right now we're showing the, the, uh, the storm on radar here and you can see it has formed an extremely well-defined hook echo now. Uh, with a little ball down toward the south side. So the Tennessee will be, that's where the tornado will, will form. Uh, now let's uh, take a look at his picture if we could. And uh, if, well, in that case, let's, let's, take, let's take a look at the, there we go. So here is what we're seeing. We're seeing some inflow that comes into this little tail end here, we're seeing a little bit of rain. So I would expect right about in this location could be some uh, place where I would expect the tornado to possibly uh, drop down. But certainly it's within this portion of the cloud, that's where the rotating updraft comes in and spirals its way up in this rotating thunderstorm. You can also see some, some little scud elements here. There's, it's rising, there's this broad area of ascent taking place right in here. A Little bit of rain, this may be part of what we call the rear flanked uh, downdraft, the rain wrapping around with the, the main body of the rain being around here. So there's some rain cooled air wrapping around a little bit in that hook and then the warm air is coming in and up and then it turns with height. There's a, a good amount of turning with height today and that's what's allowing these storms to rotate. So an exciting prospect here for the Vortex 2 team uh, with a rotating wall cloud hanging down. See that almost looks like a, a birthday cake. And Mike, you asked a few minutes ago if the storm would turn to the right and it has indeed turned about 10 degrees more to the right. It's heading just slightly south of east now. Well, one good thing about it, it's a relatively slow speed, so if we head south, we've got a paved road here, I think we could probably get ahead of it. One thing, though, Dr. Forbes, that I have been noticing, really following now the left-hand side of this wall cloud, because from our vantage point here, we're still several miles away, it does look like 
I mean, it's hard for me to tell visually exactly what's going on here, but I can, from my naked eyes, 